Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the master challenges. I'm starting off with this single sided mode as you can see on the top left hand corner. What you've got down the bottom is a number of tabs as always. This tab gives you a quick overview of the different activities and you've also got links to the YouTube tutorials if you click on the icons as you can see on screen. You've also on this tab got a quick overview of the different resources you can have access to and different tutorials. So if we go over to this design here, we can have a look at what we've got. So as you can see on the screen, we've got two parts. We've got a mold and we've also got a design as well, as you can see there. So if we hide the design, you can see here, this is a single sided mold and this is what we use in school, for example, to create pewter casting modes. So all the detail is on sort of one side of the design and then the back of it is nice and flat. And this is quite easy to create. It looks quite complex, but if you follow the stages, it is quite simple. So first thing we're going to do is we'll just put that back and we'll click on the plus, create part studio, wait a few seconds for that to appear. I'm going to rename this tutorial and then just click to confirm that. So what we're going to do first of all is I'm just going to drag this back in time so we could go through the stages. So the first thing I did was created a sketch and that sketch was, let's we'll move that out of the way, okay, 50 by 50. I then extruded that 25 millimeters, okay, below my sketch. So let's go sketch top work plane, press N, I'm going to go for a center point rectangle. I'm going to click and drag that out and then type in 50 and enter and 50 and enter. And then what we've got there now, okay, as you can see is a simple square. So we're going to go up to, actually we could name this if we really wanted to. We could type in there, so a mold sketch and then we can confirm that and we can have a look and say, yeah, that's okay. Go to extrude. I'm going to go below, okay, 25 millimeters. So we're creating new because this is the first sort of feature we've created. And then what we're going to do, if we have a look back here, okay, we're going to create a sketch. So let's have a look at how I created this. So I created this sketch at the top surface. And what we've gone for is Okay, this sort of an ellipse shape, which is 10 millimeters wide and 40 millimeters in height. And also what we've done, okay, is we've made a copy of this. So we've got one, two, three copies, basically. Okay. So let's have a look here then. So sorry, just check the size, so 10 by 40, there you go. Especially if you've got a bad memory like me. So let's click sketch, top surface, press N, zoom in, and now let's go to ellipse. I'm going to click and drag that up. Okay, just going to make sure if I click escape, sorry, got to make sure that we start that on the origin like that. And we're waking the origin up and there's some orange dots that appear. I'm going to click and drag that. So we're going to go for 40. I'm going to go for 10, like so. Just going to move those out of the way a little bit, like that. And then I could draw more of these and I can set angles and things like that. But what I'm going to do is create a circular pattern. I'm going to select what I want to pattern and I'm going to choose, okay, my center point there. I want to create that in a moment. If I move this out of the way, we've got three okay, copies of those. We can increase that if we wanted to. Okay, all depends on okay, what you want to achieve, but I'm going to go for, say, three like that. I'm going to click on here and I'm going to type in, that's my design. And I'm going to confirm that. And let's have a look. Yeah, so that's on that surface. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to use the extrude. And I'm going to extrude, okay, this design here. I can click on all these bits like this. Okay, or the, another way of doing it, if I get rid of those, is to click on my sketch as well, like that. 
Now that's actually create selected in the middle of it as well. So if I just rotate this and click to fill that in, there you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip this and we're going to go in. And we're going to create a new okay part and that appears down here and that's important. Now the depth I'm going to set as say 8, I could always change this later on. I'm adding no particular draft or anything like that and I just want it to go in a single direction. So the important thing is new and I can I could name that if I wanted to but I'm just going to save it. So what we've got here now is if we right click this and enter a name we've got the mold and then if I just deselect that Okay, if I zoom out, stop clicking on that plane would be good. If I right click on there, name that and name that sort of design. So if I hide the mode, you can see what we've got up to now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spin that around and I'm going to create a design on that surface there. I'm going to press N and I'm going to hide all these planes. Now if we go back to this reference here and we just go forward and we can have a look at what I've created as well so I've got this design here I've oh I actually filleted the edges first okay by two millimeters and then I created sort of a hole in that design so let's have a look so three millimeters in and what size that do the circle eight so we'll just do it this way around it's fine so we're going to go C for circle, type in 8, we're going to go up to extrude, I'm going to make sure that's going in that direction and removing material and we're going to go in okay, the depth that we desire. So it's up to you, it depends on your design, you could if you really wanted to, you could have that okay, sticking out as well, it all depends on what features you want to create but I'm going to go remove and save that and then I'm going to add my fillet I could click on the face or I could click edges depending on what I want to achieve I'm going to type in the size there okay if I type in say two millimeters there we go and I've selected all those I could even select this edge here if I wanted to but I'm going to leave that actually so I've created this design here so let's have a look what I did next. So I've done that. Okay. Aha, right. I can see what we've done next. Let's have a look and spin that around. Yep. Okay. So if we turn back on our mode, and what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to recolor this. Okay, say purple. So that stands out like that. I'm going to click on this top surface here. Uh, actually, turn that to isometric. And there, yeah, that surface there. Sketch, N for normalize. And what we're going to do, we're going to use the L tool for line. I'm going to find the center point, which will appear here once I hover over it. And I'm going to drag this down here. And I'm going to drag it over to here. And then I'm going to click Escape. I'm going to use D for dimension. I could dimension this. Okay, this is where the metal is going to flow in, and you'll see that shortly. The depth for this on my design does it really matter? Okay, and depending on the size of this, if I, if I go too small for this dimension, okay, it's going to reduce the flow of that pewter going in. So I'm going to go to say say ten. Ten is fine, and. Uh, save that I can also give it a name if I wanted to okay so it's easy to identify so what we're going to do now is okay so there's lots of different ways we could do this we could revolve this and we can remove it from the mode we could even revolve it and add it to my design okay and then okay remove the entire thing from the mode so it's it depends on what you want to do. There's different ways of doing it. So I'm going to go revolve. That's what I want to revolve. The axis is that axis. Okay, I want it to be an angle one direction of 180 degrees. 
And at the moment, that's okay, rotating it the wrong way, so I want to go like that. So I am going to, okay, add this, and the scope is going to be my design. And I'm going to click tick. So what we've done, if I hide the mode, okay, is created that design there. So once we've actually cast this, this is what it will look like. And then what we'd have to do, okay, is remove that to then, okay, leave the actual design in place. When I'm just going to drag that, okay, back down. So that's what it would look like once it's molded. So what we need to do now is subtract, okay, the design from what I've called the mold, which is this purple bit here. So we're going to go up to this option. Um, we're not going to click OK, Union. We're going to go Subtract. So the tool is going to be my design. OK, and the target is going to be the mold. And you can see it gives us a preview there of what it will look like. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep the tool. So I want to keep that tool there. OK, and I'm going to click on tick to confirm that. And what that's done now, if I hide the design, it's created a perfect mold of my design, OK, which I can then okay, send to, defends actually, send to different machines. So you could uh, 3D print this and then uh, use it as a mold. You could slice it up. I get into layers and laser cut it and then stick that together to create a mode and you could even more traditionally use a router okay and router this out and then use that as a mode so there's various different ways and I'll cover that in a future tutorial the other thing that we could do and could show you is for example if you decide that uh, you want to add an extra feature to your design What's important is where do you do that? So if I just hit the mode, okay, and I click on that surface there, click, well, sorry, not extrude actually, I'll click on that surface, click sketch, and I'm going to add a little feature here, let's say two millimeter, well, actually, probably need to be a bit bigger than two millimeters. So let's say 3.5, like so. And what we'll do is we'll dimension it from there. Let's just say 9 or whatever. OK. So say I want that to now stick out. Not like that much. But say I want to do, say, 2 millimeters, like that. Now, what I did, I went a bit quick there. OK. I've merged okay, that into the design. And then I've now... Gonna add a small fillet to that edge. Okay, so type in 0.5, like that. So say you've added a, a design there. But what I've done now is I've added those features, okay, after this feature here. So if you actually have a look, okay, at that design there, it is not taking that new feature into account. So what we could do is drag let's drag that okay past here and then what you'll see because I've applied that after these features it's now added that to the mold okay so it is really important if you have created a design and then you think oh I want to go back and I add something else okay it's important where okay you add that okay within the timeline and again okay if you decide for example, let's uh, roll this back. Okay, let's turn this around. Whoop. Um, what have we got here? So, hide a mode, open a design. Okay, so say I wanted uh, that to be a different size. I can always go in here. And type in say six millimeters okay update that because I've rolled it back it's not fully updated I could go here now go actually I want to add the slide. 
Okay, not to five millimeters, but a very slight. Okay, fill it on the inside of that. I'm then going to fill it the outside. Okay, I could actually add a little tiny filler on there. Like that. And then come in, I've added that section there. I then added that bit, as you can see what I did before. Okay, and then I drag that back down again. And if we turn, oh, spin that around. Okay, you can see here now, it has updated that feature. So that's slightly smaller, and now it's got these, okay, fillets on it, okay? And that's how you create a very simple, a one-sided mold. Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.